Driver is both relieved and furious because she is not happy about the fact that this boom truck crane fell on top of her roof there, currently lifting it off her vehicle. You can see it down here. We're on Bedford Park, Park Boulevard, right off Grand Concourse here in the Bronx. This happened at around 1038 this morning. 22-year-old Danielle Cruz just sitting there at the stoplight, minding her own business. Out of nowhere, she saw the light pole first collapse, and then milliseconds later, the entire boom crane fell down on top of the roof of her car. Miraculously, she was is not injured. She did not suffer any serious injuries. She immediately got out of the car. People who were standing on the sidewalk ran over to help her out. She immediately called her mother. At we, we spoke with her a few minutes ago. Uh, she left the hospital. She only has a busted lip, but otherwise she's doing okay, and she is already planning to sue. Take a listen. That lawsuit is about to slap. Or you, you're, you're already planning to sue. Most definitely. The fact that I wasn't able to react even makes it worse because, like, if I would have been a, a few inches forward, I w they would have had a casualty on their hands. So the fact that I'm standing here. The boom was attached to her and, and it failed at the lowest point. Uh, the cause of the failure is under, under investigation. She has, believe it or not, minor injuries. She's very lucky. Uh, she was uh, in the car behind me, and uh, uh, the way the boom crossed the car just missed her, and uh, she's, she's going to be fine. So this boom truck crane was working on a building that's under construction here at the corner. It's about a seven or eight story building. Fire officials say that it's been under construction for the last few weeks. They've been completing about a floor a day. I spoke with Department of Buildings, a spokesperson there, uh, gave us a wealth of information. The last time inspectors were here before today was August, late August, where they turned up just one violation that had to do with improper lighting and the height of the shed over the sidewalk. Nothing to do with the boom truck that collapsed today. But after inspectors conducted another inspection after today's incident, three new violations, none of them having anything to do, as far as we know, with the boom truck. As a result, a partial stop work order has been issued. Construction here cannot resume until they resolve those issues. I've been trying to reach uh, Mr. Rosalio Rojo from Allstate 12 General Contracting Group. He's the listed owner of the site. A woman has told me three times on the phone over the last couple of hours that he's not available. She keeps telling me to call back. I've also been unable to reach a Jesus Rojo Garcia. He's listed as the safety manager for the site. A lot of questions that are going to be posed to both of those people, including by Danielle Cruz's attorney. Again, you heard she's planning to sue. She's feeling very lucky knowing that just a few inches either way, leaning forward, leaning to the side, she could have been killed in this accident.